other one. Uh, the topic being fame, sex, and money. Uh, who else to demystify this for us other than the Kenyan blogger, internet entrepreneur, and cyber activist Robert Eli himself is in studio with us. Uh, but before you talk to him or see him, uh, VDJ Khalifa, Mambo Baby. Uh, yeah, I see you took us back. Are you trying to make our guests comfortable? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so thank you very much, VDJ Khalifa. Uh, Mr. Robert Eli, yes. it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, pleasure to meet you. I'm a big fan. Thank you. Camera is number four. The drill okay. is always introduce yourself okay. if I miss anything in the intro. Uh, I think you finished the introduction well. <laughs> <I don't laughs> finished think the introduction well. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so Karibu Sana. Uh, yes. There's so many things people yes. have said about you and around you. <laughs> yes. Uh, but I want to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Okay. So maybe we can start with your educational background. I'm uh, trained in computer science. Computer science. Majored in forensic. Uh -huh. So I think that's the basic of it. Uh -huh. But I've, uh, you know, I've always been a techie. You've always been IT a techie. IT has always been my background, yeah. All right, so media, how did media come in? No, just being a loud mouth. Just being a loud mouth. <laughs> yes, You've yes, always yes. been a loud mouth. Yes, just being right. a loud mouth. Uh, I'm, I'm being pushed to the media by force. Uh, <laughs> it's not my liking. Yes. Oh, it's not your liking. Yes, so I'm yes. guessing you were a smart person in high school. High school and primary school was yes, easy yes, for you. Yes, yes, yes. It was, right. was, was not so hard. It was, it was not so hard. Being rebellious, listening uh -huh. to a lot of hip hop. Uh -huh. yes, listening uh, to a lot of hip hop. So, <laughs> so that yeah, last song that we played yeah, is something yeah, you can relate to. Something, yeah. All right. So while growing up, did you feel like people didn't understand you or? Always, when you're rebellious, you feel like everybody doesn't understand you. So uh -huh. it's, it's, it's not unique to the current generation. Uh -huh. And I think it happened to our time a lot. Because, uh -huh. you know, when hip-hop was coming up, uh -huh. and we were using hip-hop uh -huh. to show our rebellious side, uh -huh. and people didn't understand hip-hop. You uh -huh. remember even Bill Clinton once declared hip-hop a menace to society yes, I when he was president. Uh -huh. And hip hop was, you know, hip hop, drugs, gang, uh -huh. gang, gang culture uh -huh. in the U.S. and so uh -huh. on. I think, I think that's soft side of the, uh -huh. the American. But this stuff. was their reality, right? Yes, yes. This or, was the reality. This was, right. you know, Relating kind of, that hip hop, uh, yes. that is the reality. Yes. The black Negroes yes. in America. Yes, yes. How did hip hop relate to you as the youth in Kenya at back then? I think being black there in the U.S. and mm -hmm. also being Negro, being black and and in the U.S. Mm -hmm. facing almost the same challenges. A youth in Kenya is facing, uh -huh. though my Kenya, you know, might be to the to the from 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 a very extreme background. But mm -hmm. you know, they feel they feel oppressed, not rec not, uh -huh. not recognized, oppressed. Uh -huh. You know, opportunities not, not, not the opportunities are uh -huh. there, but they're being they're not being treated fairly. Uh -huh. So I think I think the Kenyan youth also feel even now the Kenyan youth still feel that you know the leadership is not recognized. That's the, why the, they the input to of the that youth. Yes. kind of music. And so the the, the the music was a platform for them to rebel against the leadership and mm -hmm. the, the society. So, you know, you, you rebel against the father, you start from the fathers, uh -huh. the mothers, the parents, uh -huh. you know, to the to The, the ideas they try to plant in your Yes, head. yes. Uh -huh. You remember we had the Okufulani Mau Mau, uh -huh. Mashaka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only on <laughs> my two yes, yes. If you never knew Robert Eli is a fan of hip-hop music, yes. you know it now. Yes, Who is yes. a hip-hop artist that you can listen to right now of the new generation? Of the new generation, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, maybe Drake, uh -huh. maybe... J. Cole? J. Cole, uh -huh. not so much, uh -huh. but you know, I, I think now, also also trying to understand the kind of challenges we are facing now as mm -hmm. a society. You remember now that uh, just yesterday the women were, were, were protesting against the killing of women. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's also far much killing of men, uh -huh. which nobody recognizes. Uh -huh. If you walk outside this studio, mm -hmm. most of the people you find idle. 99% uh -huh. of them are men, uh -huh. you know, and, and you know, some of them, walk, most of them walk at night, uh -huh. they are killed. They're if you killed. go to, you know, the Either by police, by police, uh -huh. by, by, by thugs, you know, uh -huh. by just, you know, found killed and dumped. Nobody, treated, nobody treats the killing of a man uh -huh. as urgently as they treat the killing so of a man. So we should fix the society in general? Yes, we should fix the society. I think we should, fi we should not, and, and when, you tra when you call it femicide, uh -huh. you kind of leave the boy child out of the war. Of the so war. the boy child feels that it's mm -hmm. me against them. Yes. Yeah, it which it shouldn't be. You know, you're, 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 you're not winning the war. So uh -huh. it shouldn't, it, it should be, let's stop killing everybody. Let's Why stop is, killing you know, everybody. Let's, let's stop killing. not just fight the killing yes, of women yes, or killing yes. so that, you know, killing So everybody. that the men should protect the women. Yes. yes. And that is how the traditional African society was yes, set up. Yes, men yes. took care of the women. Yes, yes. And uh, it's sad that yeah. we're moving away from that. Yeah, yeah it's very sad. 
moving swiftly yes computer training computer science yes then the internet happened yeah the internet happened. To you we guys. started we started we started we started with the you know the way the internet happened we started from the groups uh -huh. The Yao groups, uh -huh. you know, you, we started from the forums, the chat list, rooms. the uh -huh. chat room, the Mashada chat room, uh -huh. the, the list serves, you uh -huh. know, the Kenya forums and, uh -huh. and, and so on. Then we, then Google groups happened, uh -huh. which was more, which was like Yao groups, but uh -huh. better uh -huh. in handling. And yes, uh -huh. it was an improvement. Then the web, what, what they call the web 2.0 came, you mm -hmm. know, now the interactive web, because, mm -hmm. you know, the previous web was one sided, you know, you, you, mm -hmm. you, even if you published a website, uh -huh you didn't have to make it interactive. Uh -huh. So the Web 2.0 happened and now it had to be interactive. Now mm -hmm. even social media came in, you know, mm -hmm. the Facebook and the Yahoo uh, and, and, the, and the Twitter and the, yeah. and the Google chat rooms and, and, and so on. Mm -hmm. So I think it happened and it changed the game completely. It now it game. removed, it democratized the media. Uh -huh. It removed the power from the traditional media. Uh, from, the big, from the big media big, houses. Big media houses, uh -huh. the mainstream media uh -huh. to now to the common man. Uh -huh. Now the powerful, most powerful man is not a blogger, is not a journalist is not a but is a person carrying a smartphone mm -hmm. yes can smartphone. document something yes and share it with somewhere six billion yes yes somewhere where a journalist was not present a blogger was not present somebody uh -huh. just recognized that this thing is uniquely happening and, uh, and takes it needs a to shot be seen. yes and we have seen revolutions happen yes well. yes yes we have seen revolutions happening mm -hmm. you know started by by you know the arab spring and uh -huh. And, and, and others where you, you, you see uh, people start from the grassroots uh -huh. and you know they document their struggles and, and it comes at the mainstream peak, media picks up and it goes it blows it blows over the world I think I think that's the beauty of the social media that is the beauty of social media all right the revolution in uh, this information age yes. is happening so fast yes it's faster than the previous revolutions the yes. other ones took a longer time now things are happening so fast before you know it we have the virtual reality yes, before yes. you know it we have the AI setup. yes yes <laughs> uh, are you scared I, I I'm never scared of technology mm -hmm. because you know what's happening with technology is technology always will leapfrog you mm -hmm. know our our own uh, thought process and uh, mm -hmm. and understanding of it mm -hmm. you know nobody understood social media for what it is no mm -hmm. we didn't understand that it could have influenced elections mm -hmm. uh, you know influence our people exactly. you know to decide even sometimes to force people to uh -huh. elect the wrong person all right you know, like the Trump subconsciously yes, like yes, some yes. things so, yeah. obliviously right? yes uh -huh. we have the drone community in this country which the government is really trying to fight uh -huh. we are being forced to register with the department of defense uh -huh. like the, the the army and the navy the dod it's not a it's not a military thing uh -huh. why should we register civilian thing with the military uh -huh. uh, establishment in this so country people are scared of things they don't Techno know. yes you remember president moy uh -huh. he refused to allow people to have fax machines uh -huh. because he believed that fax machines will come people can use it to overthrow him uh -huh. <laughs> you know you used to have to go through the intelligence process uh -huh. to be vetted to, to own a fax machine Right. Now they're obsolete. Us back as they, yes, they're obsolete. You mm -hmm. remember, uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> worked, I worked, I worked in Congo, uh -huh. and and uh, Mobutu says they didn't believe in building roads. Uh -huh. He believed that if you build roads, people will drive on them, and so you find airstrips everywhere, but there are no roads, wow. because he believed that people will drive on the roads, and overthrow him. But remember, people walk from Uvira, mm -hmm. 1,200 kilometers away, and overthrow him in Kinshasa. Mm -hmm. So, so we, should we should not take. We should change not is inevitable. No, we should. Yeah, we should embrace technology, mm -hmm. understand it. You know, mold it to it. mold it uh -huh. to what can better our society. If you are scared of technology, uh -huh. technology will <laughs> run over you. <laughs> will run over you. Yes. There's nothing you can do in the long There's run. I remember nothing. what happened with Netflix because yes. they didn't understand it. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, a lot of things have happened. Yes. Another thing I've always wanted to ask yes. somebody like you who yes. uses Twitter's yes. platform: Do you think that people who design Twitter? expected it to be used in the ways it's being used right now i don't think i, I don't think everybody understood you remember <laughs> you know one of the the, the famous quotes uh, i think is from bill gates or or also you know you say that uh, nobody would need so many bytes uh -huh. you know to hold his data uh -huh. and now people are terabytes you know uh -huh. people are pentabytes you uh -huh. know people are going crazy over bytes uh -huh. people who design technology would never understood. You remember that even the person who designed AK-47 uh -huh. say that he really regrets uh -huh. that people can use it to kill. <laughs> you he know, designed people, it for something. Yes, he designed it for right, something. So the user all, uh, yes, always has yes, a role to yes, play. Yes. So this is where the regulatory part comes, the government, the society. Mm -hmm. Because not only the government can do the regulation, the mm -hmm. society. Right. Because the government can try to do the regulation depending on the, the liking of the person in power. Mm -hmm. But the society 
want something else. Mm -hmm. Like the fax machine then, you know, like the telephone then. You want the telephone, but Moi says, no, hakuna mtu anachukua anapata simu kwanza. But you know, people would want to use the phone for their own mm -hmm. other, other means. So I think it's a society to decide what is good. Like now, the society is deciding mm -hmm. what can we use Facebook for? Mm -hmm. Should we allow it to be used? You remember the conversations we had, I think, two, three days ago about mm -hmm. the Nancy Pelosi video, mm -hmm. which was fake. Mm -hmm. And it was going viral in the U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. forums. And, you know, people are asking that, you know, why is Facebook allowing this? That video to but go there's around. no law yeah. which was disallowing that thing from, yes, you know, being shared. Yes, and there's only so much Zuckerberg can <laughs> yeah, do. Yes, uh -huh. and so, so, you know, it's the society to say, okay, can you vote on this? Uh -huh. Do you want it to be on the platforms? Uh -huh. And that's, that's why, why we have referendums. Yeah, referendums yeah, even, have even on Facebook and, and, and YouTube and Twitter, we have the likes and dislikes. Uh -huh. yeah, we have the up vote and the, and the uh -huh. down vote. Uh -huh. yeah, so, so people are <laughs> subject to their own. Yes, yeah, the society will decide. And most of the time, like the internet, uh -huh. you, no law. I think there's no law which can fit. You remember when the, US, uh, the, the, the EU... Mm -hmm. You know, enacted this privacy bill, the GDP, mm -hmm. GB, DPR bill, mm -hmm. but it is not applicable in some societies. Mm -hmm. So you know, you can apply the EU law in the EU areas, mm -hmm. but not in Africa, not in the US. US are so laws are, are designed to fit the, the society to yes. itself. Yes, the society needs to decide mm -hmm. on what's good. For Wonderful. Them. As a blogger, yes. uh, there was uh, there are stories that go around, yes. uh, like. Uh, uh, for example, in a, in a in the music business, if yes. I'm about to drop something big, yes, like yes, an album, yes, I'll get my blogger there. Yes. I'll get uh, a mainstream media person there. I'll get my social media person. I'll get my team, the mm. people who are going to make sure uh, my stuff is fed to the people. Yes, yes, yes. People claim that the same happens in politics. Uh, Elections is like an album for yes, a politician. Yes, 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 yes. So they're going to get the mainstream media guys that they trust yes. to push their agenda. Yes, they're going yes, to get yes. the print media guys yes. that uh, to push their agenda. They're bloggers as well. Yes. So uh, do you think Kenyan bloggers are participating in this system that we are trying to fight first? I think I think Kenyan, Kenyan bloggers are participating more than anybody else. Uh -huh. I, I think even more than the mainstream media because you remember this is the first government we had, you know, as a, a state house blogger, you know, and it changed things. You know, Dennis Itumbi was was a secretary in the Ministry of in, in the Information, uh, attached to state house. Uh -huh. But you remember because of his work. Uh -huh in the run-up to the elections and the re-election of the president, the deputy president. Mm -hmm. So I, th I, th I think the Kenyan bloggers are really... They're playing a huge role. And, and if you check, even the last election, you know, most of the people who are at risk mm -hmm. were the bloggers, especially those based at the counties, mm -hmm. because the contest for elective post mm -hmm. became so bad mm -hmm. that some of the bloggers were being killed, some of them were being kidnapped and mm -hmm. tortured and so on and so forth. So uh, even to, uh, I think even today we are in, in Nyeri also, we are supposed to be burying a blogger there. Mm -hmm. And these things happen, you know, so the this bloggers are, <laughs> the bloggers are in the center of something. Yes, and they they're, influencing, they're influencing conversations, they're influencing what the brands, what the people want to buy, what the uh -huh. people should listen to. So we and agree they have so much power. Yeah, it's they how they use it. They have a lot. It, it depends on how they use it. Wonderful. We have a video here. Yes. Uh, I'd like, like our viewers to watch this video. We are going to throw okay. back even though it's not Thursday. Okay. Uh, so let's see the video. Following the first part of our show tonight, the Victoria team consisting of Susan, Lorraine and Eva are in the lead with a whopping 6,400 shillings. While the Victoria team consisting of Kelvin, Humphrey and Robert are trailing but eager to catch up, with 5,000 shillings. Can the Victorias continue to embrace the lead? Let's find out on Who's Smarter Now. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, we're going to start with the ladies who are doing really well. Come on over here, Sue. A limit of 60 seconds. Well, if you do, this 20-inch color television set could soon be providing all your evening entertainment. Mm -hmm. Watching the channel of your choice in the confines of your home could soon be a reality. All this yours if you can prove that you are the smarter one now. I'm going to ask you questions starting now. Who was recently crowned Miss Kenya? Pass. Which is the largest coalition of churches in Kenya? NCCK. Which is the official language of Djibouti? Ethiopian. Which tree branch symbolizes peace? Fun. Which was the highest office served by Joseph Murumbi? Vice President. Which Korean city hosted the 24th Olympic Games? Seoul. Which country? 
Which people had Zeus as their chief god? Pass. Which station owns Shoro FM? KBC. Who is UN Director for Habitat? Pass. Who is behind the theory of survival for the fittest? Charles Darwin. Which building houses the Ministry of Health headquarters? Afia House. Afia House. <laughs> You all said that you were going to walk away with something your friend did very well, but you have topped it. You win yourself an Ariston gas cooker. Throw away that Jiko and come on over here. <laughs> over here. Where is it? <laughs> is this it? This has got to be it. This has got to be it. How do you feel? I, I love it. You love it? <laughs> You'll be loving it even more when you get to make those tasty dishes. Who are you going to invite for your very first meal? All my friends in college. All your friends in college. Yes. And they're saying to you, he's got it going on, haven't you? Yes. Now, you look at them over there, that's the camera, and say to them, I've really got it going on. I really got it going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on over here, guys. This is a good place. Mm -hmm. mm. Now you know. If you second guessed his <laughs> IQ or his smartness, now you know. So we have Robert Eli, a studio a blogger and an internet entrepreneur. So you won a gas cooker? Yes. All right. So can you play like Ariston. Then, then Ariston was the thing. But was the thing. Yes. Ariston gas cooker <laughs> was Ariston the gas thing. Cooker. I don't know if they still exist. Uh -huh. I think they still do. Uh -huh. But, but the brand as, is not as popular. As, as, as you know, popular. We have the yeah. LGs and the, and the Vaughn. And things the, have happened. Yeah, things have happened. All right, mm -hmm. uh, where did you take the, your well, gas I took cooker? it to my sister's place. Have you ever fixed any meal on this gas <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you did fix something? I did fix. <gasps> All right. Yeah. It was very interesting to have it. You All know. right, so mm -hmm. this was, was this a breakthrough for you? Did people, yeah, yeah, 2001, you know, yeah. people, people, and everybody was asking me. In school. You know, it was short. Uh -huh. It was the, because I think they shoot many in a day uh -huh. then. They used to shoot at uh, the Hilton. Uh -huh. They shoot many. Uh -huh. then and then they, they uh, one show, by one. Yes, uh -huh. yeah, throughout the month. Uh -huh. So what happened is that after this, uh -huh. I went to Shags for Christmas. Uh -huh. Then we didn't have TV in Shags. Uh -huh. So people just used, and, and there were no phones. Uh -huh. So there were no more, I didn't even have a mobile phone. Uh -huh. So after that, uh -huh. You know, when I came back to Nairobi, everybody was like, oh, it's him, it's, it's him. him. Everybody was recognizing you on the street. You know, <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was very funny. I like this. I like yes. this. I like yeah. this so yeah, much. I, in fact, I think I, I think I really still remember the crew then, um, uh -huh. Brugu Gikunda. Uh, the crew David, that shot this. Yeah, then David Mbatia, uh -huh. Joan Chirchir. I, uh -huh. think, I think I still do. Uh, Shalin uh, Samat was the, the floor manager. I think at, uh, she's at uh, K24 or something, I think. Do you have a photographic memory of something? Uh, no, 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 no. I think, How do you, I, know, all you know, you just remember the people who gave you the opportunity. Because, right. you know, before the show, uh -huh. you used to go for a meeting, uh -huh. like a boardroom meeting, mm -hmm. and say, okay, this was, is what will happen. Mm -hmm. You guys will come for the show. You need to dress this way. Mm -hmm. And you are not allowed to dress like now we dress. They checked uh -huh. because I think the camera then uh -huh. were not so good with uh -huh. the different colors. Uh -huh. So they were not so stable on different colors on the same person. You, you mm -hmm. needed to have a plain shirt or mm -hmm. so, something like that. So, so we were briefed on what to wear and what not to wear mm -hmm. to, to make the work easy and how to carry out. And you appreciate the opportunity so much. In fact, I, I need to meet Regina. Regina, <laughs> 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 if you're watching, Robert and I wants to throw it back like it's Thursday. Yes, yes. Anyway, our topic of conversation today yes. is fame. Because uh, after fame comes the money, yes. then sex surrounds yes, all yes, this. Yes. Uh, is this something you've experienced in your in your so-called career? I, I, I don't know if I've experienced that because, you know, I, I was brought in a very strict... <laughs> it's a very strict family. It was not so Christian. Uh -huh. uh, like, it was Christian, but, you know, my father was not so prayerful guy. Uh -huh. Though every time we challenge him to go to the church, he would unleash the Bible and say that he has been he has known Christianity <laughs> longer than us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, so, so I think I think I think I think sex, fame go together, and the money. Mm -hmm. You know, they, 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 they go together in, mm -hmm. in, in, in most of the instances because mm -hmm. you know also you cannot have human beings without sex. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so the things the go reality, together, yeah. and the, the people need money to survive. You uh -huh. know, to, 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 to earn a li you earn a living. You, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a currency of transactions in, mm -hmm. in this day and age. Mm -hmm. It's the most important thing sometimes to uh -huh. yes to make right. money. So uh, money is the currency of transactions. Yes. Sex has also been transformed to yes. some form of currency yes. of yes. transactions. Yes. All right, as a 
as a person in this field, uh, politicians are the biggest celebrities in Kenya. Yes. It's a sad story. People think Kenyans. Yeah. yeah. People think, because you know, they earn most, yeah. Huh? And they have a lot of loose cash. They have a lot of loose cash to go around. Yes, yes, And yes. we live in a handout kind of yes, society. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, yeah. It's, uh, one would expect sportsmen and musicians and yes. artists to be famous. Yes. But in Kenya, it's different. So uh, in this field, yes. uh, have you, um, I don't want you to mention names, yes. but have you got people sending you sex scandals from politicians? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, you have to, to, being a blogger in Kenya, those are the things you have to get. Anyway, I think being a blogger, especially when you cover... Um, uh, a wide variety of mm -hmm. topics. I used to be only a tech blogger before uh -huh. you know started talking about everything else. Uh -huh. Before but the uh, news headlines started pissing yes, you off. And, uh, yes, yes. You know, you watch the news and say you speak about this, and you are a tech blogger. Uh -huh. Then the people who are in the entertainment send you their stories. Uh -huh. So I think you get all those things. You get the sex scandals from not only politicians but also celebs. You know, uh -huh. everybody else. You know. How do you go through this these things before you can at least publish or share the story? I think most of the time we don't even share because mm -hmm. you know th there are times we used to share mm -hmm. and and we found out that the relationship is very is is, is very complicated mm -hmm. if you don't understand it because you know sometimes there were times even we partnered when we were starting this forums mm -hmm. and, and Google groups and, mm -hmm. and the mailing list type, then you find that most of the women who are abused, all the spouses in, in, in abusive relationships, used to contact us. Mm -hmm. So we partnered with the COVAO, mm -hmm. the Coalition of Violence Against Women, to, 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 to be taking the, to be cases, taking the cases, cases there, there, rather than just yes, yes. show them to the world. Yes, mm -hmm. but most of the time after the cases had been resolved, you know, mm -hmm. they were put in safe houses, you mm -hmm. know, they were given counseling and so on then they were returned to their families uh -huh. for for further counseling and they became uh, a couple again uh, then the yeah. problem started there that mm -hmm. you know we will ikuwa nataka niachane na bwana wangu ama niachane na mke wangu so you become the problem so the problem comes back, <laughs> back to, to you because you didn't understand that is the what issue. makes it complex yes it's uh -huh. very complex so you know people have so, mm -hmm. so if are, you're not a professional psychologist yes, or a counselor uh, or, uh, I think, or I think psychiatrist it, yes Sex Most cases are very, very yes, complicated. Yes, very complicated. You know, we don't even get ourselves into them uh, mm -hmm. so much. All you right. Know. There's this notion as well uh, yes. that once you start getting some fame and some clout, yes. uh, DMs zinaja kuja. Yako imeja. Me DM. Uh, you know the thing is that you know people take me online to be very abrasive, uh -huh. aggressive guy. Uh -huh. nini, nini. So no nonsense. Uh, so 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 there's n a lot of nonsense. You know, you just dismiss. All right. Yes, yes. So, so, so DM Zangu in Agwanga clean, but you know, it's people with problems. All right. I mostly. have a lot. You receive a lot, but most of them is people with problems. All right. So, so if say, you want groupies, ah, blogging is not for no, you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> if you yeah. want groupies, <laughs> yeah. blogging yeah, is not for you. Know, but you know, when, you, when, you, when you're a sex symbol, I think if you're in the t entertainment industry and you know you, you, you carry out yourself like a, you know, good to... Uh, like opposite sex. Uh, God's gift. To, yes, to, yes, to yes. You know, <laughs> then, then you have to get all those in the, your DMs. You know, somebody like uh, the, the, the the bloggers or the socialites. Then you know they are DMs. That is to, Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Asante, Robert. Asante. Uh, we are going to take a break and then we'll be back with the game. Okay. All right. So uh, yes, we have had Robert Alai. Please tell them how they can find you on social media. Before Robert Alai it. everywhere. Uh -huh. Robert Alai. The good thing is that mine is secured when they're early. All right. You <laughs> yes. secured it early. Yes. Yes. So and, even and if they Google Robert Alai, they'll find. They'll you find. I, I think everybody else should secure theirs. All right. Yeah. You know, your, for your kids well. and your kids' uh, social media handles. Already. Yes. Yes. You Be need. Be futuristic. To, yes. Yes, because you know they might need it, mm -hmm. and somebody else might take it, and you know it's now an asset. Some people declare it even an asset as a, in, in in your books of account. The handle. Yes, because it brings you more money than even employment can. <laughs> your handle can make you more money. More money, money. than employment can. Some people you see they tweet every tweet fifty thousand Kenya shillings, one hundred thousand Kenya shillings. <laughs> so it depends on, Hope on you're how you're listening. You <laughs> yeah. kuna kazi yapa, Kenya yes, or this yes. and that. Secure your handle. Your yes. handle can make you yes. money. And it depends on what you do with it. Walter Robert Eli himself, a renowned blogger, an internet entrepreneur. We'll be back with some more of Social Friday. Don't go nowhere. Don't type that tab. Y254 Imagine
Watu mnajua ni aje Wana usema usema mbinu ufuata mwendo na basi runinga ya Y254 tunafuata mkondo huo kwa kisha tunalea vipaji na kukupa burudani kupitia vipindi vya mziki majadiliano na elimu pia tunaangazia masuala burudani na kukupa exclusive kutoka kwa mastaa wapendao Heyo mambo vipi this is Alicia Cha kufanya kuna mwambia rafiki ya mwambia rafiki Kipo katika vingamuzi vyote vya digitali Y254 Imagine for the man who doesn't know how to stop the music. Uh, so since you don't know how to stop the music, form ni gani hii weekend? Kama kawaida nilo ambia ikuwa si lakini ni mbitu ni fichue. Leo tuende tunenda kilibia. Sikibli na ambia tituende. If you know, we go within Kirigua na town. We actually na patana hapo Red Java. Then Kesho tuko Primal Bamburi. Yeah, Bamburi. Alright, Kesho Primal Bamburi? Yeah, Kesho. Utenda nice year rama? Flight. Oh, flight. Oh, flight. We land. In we my land. next life, I want to be a DJ. <laughs> now, Robert, I'm a DJ. Yes, <laughs> yes, you know, but hey, <laughs> hey, I used to love music. I almost became a DJ. <laughs> For a while. I'm a DJ. I'm a DJ. I'm a scandal. I'm a DJ. Because that was our topic of conversation <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> but this is a social break now. And the social break, we are going to engage you in a game. Okay. Yeah, so from my analysis, Robert, I figured mm. you somehow have a photographic memory. Yeah. So we are going to play who's smarter now all over again oh <laughs> <laughs> is he ready okay okay so, all right so. all right be sure to find him as robert ally on every social media and uh i'll be regina ray for today okay. even though my so, name so. is barry all yeah. right so let's take it the second largest continent in the world i i, I, I mm -hmm. think is uh, what asia asia let's <sighs> see Africa. Africa. All right. Why? Wow. Which is the first? Asia. The first is uh, Asia. The first is Asia. Eh? Yeah. Asia has to do the BS. Okay. All right, the we'll first see. is Africa. Uh, let's go. The chairman of AU. <laughs> Jinping left. So who do you have now? The Zuma left. I know it, but I don't know the name now. <laughs> you, know, you don't know the name now. But Z Zuma was the previous one. The wife to Zuma, yes. The, the, the wife the, to Zuma. Zuma, the previous, the media's uh, previous one. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's see the answer. Egyptian President Fatah El Sisi. Oh, the chairman of the AU. Oh, African Union. Not the Secretary General. You know, I'm thinking of the Secretary General. Oh, there's the Secretary General and, <laughs> and the, the chairman. And yeah. the chairman. Mm. Let's move on to the next. Mm -hmm. uh, the r largest religion in Africa is. Really? I think it's Christianity. Maybe, might even be Islam. All right, let's see the answer. Countries, countries. Islam. Islam. Why? Wow. I've been me school credible in Africa. Yeah, we, we have, have the have, Northern have, Africa. Yes. And then we yeah. have samples of Muslim religion. Yeah, like countries Muslim. like Tanzania is almost 50 50. Uh, Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, Nigeria is very big, yeah. Senegal. So. Ah, All right. Ah, hey, very, very let's, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, go. What is the name of the blue one from Twitter? Twitter bad. <laughs> That's my answer. Which, which, which is that? You know it in Lua. <laughs> <laughs> How do you call it? Alur. No. <laughs> it's not so good. Alright. Or sang. Alright. The answer please. Larry, the bad. Larry, Larry, Larry is a. Alright. It's kind of Larry. Larry is a bad. Alright. Let's move on to the next. Uh -huh. How, many, How many calories do you think you can burn by clicking a mouse button 10 million times? Wow. What? 1,000? 1,000? Let's try 1,000. 
The 10 million thumbs up. What is that, sir, please? One. One. That's a waste. That is very exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, what is the next question? The longest, the longest river, river in the world. The Nile? The Nile? Or the Mississippi? The Nile or the Mississippi? One or uh, one? Uh, uh, yeah. All right. I think it's the Mississippi. The answer, please. Oh my God. The, the Nile. Nile. Yes, we got that one. Uh, one question for VDJ Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you had one for me, DJ. Your favorite DJ, your favorite DJ. <laughs> your favorite DJs. Thank you very much for the playing Asante with Asante. us, Robert Alai. Thank you very much for coming, Asante and Asante. thank you very much for what you're doing Asante. to the for the community. Asante. And uh, I hope you're mentoring some bloggers as well. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. we have to mentor that is in the process. Yes. All right. Yes, so we, have to, we we talk a lot to the bloggers. Uh -huh. You know, wherever we travel, and also there are, there are others. We I have them in my office. So. Uh -huh. Have the Sam you have in your office. Yeah, yes, yes, we mentor them. Though the, the office in a kwanga chini yamaji. Office lazima well, go chini yamaji. Chini yamaji. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but at least we mentor Sam. You know, we we interact because you, we don't want to leave it to us. You uh -huh. know, I'm. You're you growing older. You're having you, the things you can't do. Yeah, and things which are you could risk when you are in your twenties. Uh -huh. When you are single and you you are not a parent, the things uh -huh. you can change, and also there are things you can do now you can support them you know you can mentor them you can tell them the the wrongs and the the good and the bad side of blogging uh -huh. and how to protect themselves so mentorship is very important very important right. in one last profession. thing i'd like you to share with the viewers yes. uh -huh. people always have questions to yes. ask the government yes. people have a lot of questions yes. recently so yes. many people are asking me about this registration process people are asking me about so many things uh, and they don't know how to air their questions. They yes. don't know how to get them out there. What is the use, process? Use your social media. Use, use your social, social media. media. Yes, yes, just be loud. Uh -huh. Be loud. Shout. <laughs> shout. Shout. We used to shout until they uh -huh. noticed us. All right. I think if you don't shout, if you rely on Robert Ali, sometimes you know you grow old. You, mm -hmm. you know you die today. Then you know. So the power is in our hands. If yes. you have a question, I, ask. I, and, and this is this is the challenge I'm always giving to. Not only bloggers and and people want to speak out. Mm -hmm. Also people looking for employment. Mm -hmm. You know. The power nowadays is on is your hands. You know that for, it took us a long time mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. even have a dial-up mm -hmm. internet in our homes. That is, you have you're watching TV through the internet. Yes, to the to the most uh, yeah. remote places. You're using what uh -huh. you, you're watching what you call video on demand. Uh -huh. You don't wait for news. News uh -huh. wait at, for at you news because you, you, you watch it on YouTube. <laughs> as soon as you're ready, whenever you you go <laughs> hang out, Kitambo used to go to a club. Uh -huh. They stop the music so that so people that, can that play <laughs> news. <laughs> Then they continue the music. Uh -huh. Nowadays, people don't care. They play mm -hmm. music. And when you go home, you can watch the news you missed. Yeah, and you can receive the WhatsApp. Thank you very much, Mr. Robert Alive. Yeah. Yeah. For that matter, be sure to find us on YouTube at Y254 channel if you'd like to have a recap of this conversation or if you'd like if you know somebody who'd like to, to know what Robert Ali said on Y in the morning. I go by the name of By Moses or it's by Moses social media platform. Don't drink and tweet. Enjoy <laughs> your weekend. <laughs>